What is going on, everybody? Boom, here we are. Haggis Moose is all up in the chat right off the bat saying morning, afternoon, evening, everyone, because we're global, worldwide. Thanks to the power of the internet. Hey, guess what? Guess what? Just a big old truck just pulled in front of my house just yesterday. And uh, looky here. Looky here. It's here. The Art of Brian Shearer, Volume 2. We got uh, all this good stuff in here. So I got to draw a little sketch in the back on every one of these. And um, one thing that, um, oh, by the way, I'm going to shut this uh, uh, Indiegogo down. It's in demand right now. And uh, hey, Rob Smith. <clears throat> and um, if you go to getthisart.com, link in the description, I'm, I'm shutting it down on Friday. Um, so you have until Friday to get your copy of this book. Uh, ben the Brit, hello. So, uh, and if you're not on my mailing list, as Haggis Moose just said, got the newsletter. If you want to get on my newsletter here, go to gunship-thunderpunch.com. You'll get the latest in everything once a week. You can get, uh, you can select what you want. Just about everyone has some of these things here. Art tips, Gunship Thunder Punch news, original sales and stuff. So I am moving towards, you know, the fickleness of social media. Um, if you if you enjoy any artist of whatever variety, and they have an email newsletter, go sign up for it. That's the best way to stay in touch, unfettered and unhindered. So that's the deal right there. Let me get back here and um, share the link out to this. As you come in, hit the bell for notifications. If you're watching it later, leave a comment. That helps. And um, we're going to draw. Um, I need to do a cover for Gunship Thunder Punch book two which launches March 26th. And um, I'm just in the middle of like a bunch of um, stuff. In a little bit, when more people are in here, I'm going to give a little sneak peek preview to the uh, Synthwave Retro Wave album that is coming with Gunship Thunder Punch book two. As you can see here, I've been busy working and composing and recording and things. So that's uh, that's what's going on there. Cam is here. It takes everyone a while to filter in. Ah, the coffee's good. So, what am I doing here? What am I doing? I need to get my um, mic a little, a little closer here. <clears throat> so I've got, uh, I went ahead and finished up one panel of this page. This little deal here. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll finish. Let me work on this. So I've got all these different elements that, oh, no, this isn't the master page. Um, Hiroshi, there she is. How's it going to be busy? It does. I'm so busy. Uh, where am I? I am pages. Um, beginning stitch one. So, Turn this music down in my ear, as usual. Cheese It Now says, hey, Brian, finally managed to catch a live stream. Awesome. Welcome. This is the first time I've streamed since last week. I can't remember. I don't think I did one on Friday, and I can't remember why. Something was up. Something was going on, and I don't remember what it was. Hex says, let's go. Hello. You know, um... Heck, have you talked to Elliot since uh, the convention? Because I've called him and texted him and asked him if he's alive and I haven't heard from him. All right. So one of the things, too, I got to do is uh, <laughs> get a reference for uh, this gun. Because even though I designed it, every time I forget. Um, speaking of, of hey, Kismetti, good morning. Uh, the Art of Brian Shearer. One thing that I, I didn't expect and, well, I didn't realize the first book. So I've got volume one here. If you notice, even though volume two is more pages, volume one is thicker. And I didn't realize how crazy thick this first book was. Um, this is almost cardstock kind of paper. Um, and this is more reasonable, um, which you'd normally get. It's a little thinner. It's not bad. I mean, the printing looks great. But... Um, I realized that might be why shipping was so expensive. <laughs> this one, because it's heavy. But anyway, um, 
I keep a copy of Thunder Punch here because I have to reference things. Where is Stitch's gun? Where, oh where, have you gone? Because I design things and it goes right outside my head. But this is why we have ref a reference for ourselves. Okay, he's right there, and there it is, okay. All right, did everyone wish Sir Michael a happy birthday? Thank you for the birthday wishes, everybody. The birthdays are important. <clears throat> All right, where's my pen? So I need to get rid of the texture for a second and go up to my correct layer. So I'm getting excited about Thunder Punch. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to launch. I'm ready to get stuff done. The con took a toll on him and some last minute work he had to catch up on. So he's recuperating. Should be back to normal soon. Okay. As long as he's okay. Conventions, you know, well, he also had a long drive. He had to, he drove up the day before and then right after the convention, he had a six hour drive. So already. Hiroshi asked, did you use different printers between volume one and two? Yes. This was Print Ninja. The first one was Print Ninja. The second one was API, who does Thunder gun, ugh, Gunship Thunder Punch. Um, and um, really, I'm just, I think the pages are really comic book type pages. They feel about the same, so it's fine. It looks good, but yeah, Print Ninja was thick. But again, once you start getting multiple collections of books and things, shipping. See, here's the thing. I'm going to ship, like, for, for Thunder Punch 2, you could conceivably get how much? How much book thickness of books? So this is a G.I. Joe thing, but this will be about the thickness of, like, two extra copies. Add one more book on top of this, and uh, there will be a package that has one, two, three, four, five, six books. And um, I'm sorry, international people, but that's going to be expensive for you. I, there's just no way I can't not charge a lot for that. <clears throat> but was Print Ninja a better price? They were a no, actually, API was a better price, and they don't ship on a boat literally from China. Um, so the turnaround time print wise for API because they print uh, in the states is two weeks as opposed to a month and a half, two months for Print Ninja. So and I'm actually talking to, you know, I have a guy there that I talk to and goes back and forth and will call me and if, you know, if I have to do things. So it, <clears throat> better all around. All right. I just looked up this. <laughs> I just looked up his gun and it went right back out of my head. This is, this is what happens when you hit 45, I guess. I don't know. Is that what I'm supposed to say? Get hold. Okay. So, thick ninja. Yep. All right. So we got this here, and actually, this barrel could. I'm just gonna cover some of this up with kind of the blast to make it more interesting. Which I'm really happy with um, with API. Uh, they know their stuff, um, and uh, they they actually um, promote <laughs> your books. Like if you post something that they've printed, they'll they'll retweet it and stuff. So, is it the guy that looks like Sam from Lord of the Rings? Who is this? What? You can predict the holidays. They don't work better at the U.S. printer than Chinese printer. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, um, I ran into that before I was going to, when I was originally going to print, um, before I moved over to API, I was going to print in like January, and they're shut down for the Chinese New Year for weeks. So that adds even another month to it. Hey, Brian, since I know you missed it last time, just letting you know the other 10 brothers I knew how to think when you draw four book. Okay. I think I got I got two of those two of those I did get pick up um I think I've got one and two 
they are expensive but they're good they're very good books all right so let's get this in his hand it's in there why am i not i'm not penciling this in because i think i can do it i think i can do it I think I could just draw. I ain't scared. I am not scared at all. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit scared. The guy from API. Oh, I don't. I've never met him face to face. Just talked to him on the phone. Nice thing was about, um, and, and you know, Print Ninja was good. They 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 know their business and and stuff. It's just the time and you know, if you want to give your your money to Jada, go ahead. But when you, my guy called me up and he's like, hey, let's just go over some of this layout because I had some things that were he he was just looking at the file and you know things that might be too close to the edge and and all that and just in real time working on it. So very happy with them. It's the same company that does like a, all the yearbooks. Jostens, I think that's a division. I don't know how they're set up, but. <clears throat> so when I was, if you're shipping books, uh, to ship um, one Gunship Thunder Punch book, just one book overseas. And it doesn't, it, it's pretty close um, no matter where you go. I mean, some countries are worse than other, but in general, it, it tends to be about the same. Um, but if you're going to ship one book, that's, you're looking at $25. I lost money on every international shipping. Um, I think I got this now. Um, I, I lost money every time I shipped a book internationally cause I charged, I think 20 or no, no, I charged 25. It's actually 26. I lost like a dollar 50 and that's not bad. I'm willing to, you know, it's okay. It's not gonna, but when you add, Hey, X gal, um, when you had a second book that doubles, like it went up to $40. So if anybody, I doubt I'll sell very many uh, of the, the complete uh, total, you know, all six books set internationally, but cause, it, cause domestically we can do, um, media mail and that's like that, that's super inexpensive as far as shipping goes. They're still like, you know, I think I, well, I forgot what I was charging. I was charging $10. That includes all the packaging and getting it all to go. But uh, media mail is a wasn't for that. Whew. Tired of the fallacy that everything has to be done in China. Yep, doesn't have to be. Now you guys know how non-USers get stung for postage. Yeah. <clears throat> so why is why am I why is that not here? oh I'm on the wrong eraser? That's why. That's why that's doing that there. So if you were just coming in, soon I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek of the. Uh, why is this doing that? Synthwave album, such as it is, it's in early stages and missing some leads and things, but I'm having fun. If you like such things. Uh, Brian, double 25 isn't for you. You know what I mean. It was over 40, but it wasn't 50. I'm speaking in general terms. Come on now. Internet. Cam, specifically. When the first number goes from 2 to 4, in my mind, that... Uh, uh, is it wrong that I'm playing this stream loud so my husband will wake up and make good coffee? Cosmetti's husband. Uh, she wants some coffee and um, wants you to wake up. So, I'm only the messenger. Don't, don't hate me. I could use some coffee too if you can, you know, get some down to North Carolina expedited shipping uh let's see haggis moose says loads of um import export wars going on now between eu and uk oh yeah 
So lots of people not selling stuff between them. <clears throat> Speaking of books, shipping my Earthworm Jim 2 book arri should arrive today. Artist math. Yes, it is artist math. Rounding in approximation. That's what that is. Although I am getting better at the business and marketing thing. So my, uh, it's taken, it takes a long time for artists to get to the point where they're comfortable shilling their own stuff, but, uh, I made a I made a post on on Twitter that you know you can wrestle and have the self doubt and stuff when you are making it, but when you go and I see a lot of people doing this. This I used to do it too, but now it, it it's I'm like stop it, don't do that. Um, don't second guess yourself or undersell or be like, well nobody really wants you. Got to be a stand put on your Stan Lee hat. Got to put on your Stan Lee hat, and it's the best thing ever. It's the way it is. <clears throat> Okay, I can't put the coffee down because it's going to get cold. All right, and we'll... Uh, what am I going to do? Um, I'm going to have some more speed lines because I like them. And there's not much going on in the background here. Hello, AL. See a bit of Star Trek Borg in there? Oh, kind of. Oh, it must be the guy with the stuff in his brain. This scene was, uh, I'm not saying this, this is an excuse just to draw some monsters, but. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it connects to the story, but it is, I just wanted to draw some monsters. It's my book, so. All right, did I? No, let's see. I'm, I'm speaking in incomplete sentences to myself. Tighten this up. Also, artist, you got to give yourself a deadline. A reasonable deadline, but one that will make you work. So when I said March 26th, it was for real. Now I'm I'm like I'm like you know what's going to happen is there's going to be some snafu on the Indiegogo end where I can't launch right away or something. But all right. Actually, I don't think that'll be a problem. Let's go to that is. <clears throat> the smooth sounds of making comics. All morning long on Thunder Punch TV. I'm outside in the cold waiting for my hubby, says AL, to finish his doctor's appointment. It's 30 degrees and I'm not allowed anywhere because of the virus. Oh. Yeah, we had uh, our false spring last week. It was 70 degrees. The trees are blooming, sunny, and this week, uh, right now, it's 30. It's 40 degrees and raining. 83 and Florida. I want to hear it, heck. I don't want to hear it. All right, what was on the... I don't remember what was on the top panel here. What was on here? Oh, yeah. Blasting holes and stuff. That's what it was. I really just want to color this right now, though. So... That's what I really want to do. And I can, because I can do whatever I want. Getting at 66 as heck. Up, even so. Good morning, brooding Viking. Hang on, I gotta finish this. Ah. All right. <coughs> hmm. Let's see where my frames are. No, what do I need to do here? What is spilling over? It is the laser. Where is that? Is that it? 
That is it. That is it. Goodbye. Oh, and that is, I don't know where that is. Screen. My layers are crazy. It's not there. It's not there. That that's it. Goodbye. Okay. One apply to connected pixels. And and goodbye. That's what I wanted. Say. <clears throat> it's 41. So elaborate on the music. Uh, a else might be a while they need to do a CT scan to make sure he doesn't have a blood clot in his lungs. Is he afraid? Are they just checking that or is that wasn't actual actual symptoms? Rooting Viking, so excited I made it in time to back volume two art book tier before it closed down. Yep. It's it's here. In case y'all missed it. I'm happy with the back cover. It has quotes. My favorite one being Larry Hama's wonderful quote. Um Um, where are we here? All right. We are coloring on a different layer. Is this the one? Yes, that is the one. I need to start labeling stuff. This is flats, not faults. <clears throat> Make sure I've got the right thing here so uh, the I don't other colorists might do I'm sure they do this differently but this whole room is lit up red and so I will do the uh, this red layer and then on top of it I'll do the flats and make the opacity reduce the opacity so there's kind of this red tint to everything he's really fatigued if the surgery doesn't seem normal I got gotcha. you uh how do you keep knowing which layer is for what sometimes I don't <laughs> Um, sometimes what happens is I know what a, I know what a multiply and a screen is when most of the ones I use. And so I'll just look, I hide and undo, you know, the, the visibility to see what changes. <laughs> it's a hot mess. It's a hot mess. All right, and then his, is this, a, this is not the color of his. Um, is that the color of, I think that's the color of his shirt. It's going to be. It's going to be, though. It's going to be. That's very close to the color of his skin, though. Was this that close? Or what? Yeah, it is. That's a, This is right. I know. I know. Because right below it are his little paisley design Hawaiian-ish shirt thing. Which I think he is going to be changing out of this issue into more of a uniform type thing that I had designed. By the way, if you like Thunder Punch and you haven't gotten the art book, I, there's a section in here. I'll give you a little preview of... Uh, Wait a minute. Some of the stuff you've seen, but a lot of the uh, um, process, early design stuff, characters that went away. Here's what the ship looked like at first. Bleh. Trying to figure out the robot design stuff. So that's a section in there. <clears throat> yes. Heck is correct, I guess. In a perfect world, we're all orderly and my desk would not have bottle caps and yesterday's coffee mugs and random towels and things all over it, but that's not the world we live in. We live in a world where we're, everyone is doing everything by the seat of their pants. Biggest revelation of my adult life is that everyone's making it up as they go along. Kids, there, there's your life lesson. Uh, what instruments do I play? Uh, piano, saxophone, though I haven't played saxophone in a long time. Uh, guitar, mandolin, 
dabbled with the banjo uh bass you know i I, before i did the comics thing in my 20s i wanted to do the music thing i'm glad that didn't work out because that would be a that's a hard if you make it that's a hard life like especially if you're traveling but i would rather just do my own projects it gives me a, the, the synth wave thing gives me a, a chance to just kind of dabble in music again. And I've, uh, a friend of mine who's a good musician is going to, says he's going to, he, he made, he did do one song already. Um, if he, if he has time, if he can, he's going to collaborate with me. I got Thunder Punch. It's awesome. Everyone should get it. Hint, hint. That's right. People seem to like it, so. It's just not me. It's not just me, the saying. Though I do say, because I got my Stan Lee hat on. Excelsior, it's the best thing ever. <laughs> it's the best giant robot book I've ever done. That's a fact. That is a absolute one hundred and ten percent. Hey, remember the last year at this time when the world went belly up? I do remember. I was there. I was there for it. So, um, if y'all would like to hear a little bit preview, this is of course very okay. Shut the. I shut this music off. Shut this music off, and uh, I'm using uh, Studio One from Presonus. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. I don't even know which one is this. This is electronic thing here. I gotta add some stuff here too. Not right here, but... And then, um, uh, trying to be, uh, you know, kind of that little 80s retro-y thing. The mix is different in my headphones than it is through my speakers. So I don't know what it sounds like for you. <laughs> It's missing an entire lead to this. So this is kind of background stuff, but. This is very 80s. There, and then moving into a, what would be a verse, or need something over top of that. I haven't written that yet. Yes, it's the it's the danger zone bass sound. Also, yeah, take on me. It's the same bass sound. Or close 
to it. Almost identical. I'm sure they were using something expensive. Alright, that's enough. That's all you get. So there we go. That's where I am. Now back to actually working on the comic. And where's my music? Where'd my music go? My other music. That's not mine. There we go. Take it back down. Take it back down. All right. Back to work. Where is my multiply layer? That's kind of kind of it. Is that it? That is it. Maybe. All right. This lead on this song, however, sounds like the DuckTales video game from Nintendo. Fingers so cold, can't type on the phone, says AL. So a lot of this is going to be this little blaster reflection here. And then I got to find the layer with that. Look at that. Went right to it. That good. It's like I'm a professional. What do you think? Uh, uh, Lucio says, hi, Brian. What do you think is more f uh, fundamental, strong line work or development color work regard from Argentina? Um, uh, I would say line work, um, a good line. I don't know. They're both pretty important. <laughs> um, but if you had to compare the two, I would say work, I mean, line first. Because that's just good, solid drawing, fundamental drawing skills. Oh. I always like the soundtrack to that game. All right, all right, all right, all right. What am I doing? I'm thinking that's what I'm doing. I'm going to select all of this. And I'm gonna go up here to my glow layer. I'm going to see what happens when I do that. I like, I kind of like that. Um, but not that. Just a little bit of shine. The chat has gone very quiet all of a sudden. What are y'all doing? Are y'all getting me more coffee? I hope that's what you're doing. Let me select. 
Hmm, hang on. This was this layer. That's the layer I want. Uh, what are you doing? That's what I want. No, why? Oh, I'm on the wrong layer. There we go. Deselect there. Deselect there. I'm gonna come up here and get this and do that and then. Nope. That, not deselect. Not deselect. Wait a minute. Oh, no, that's all wrong. Um, cam is working. Ale's moving around trying not to freeze. Uh, heck is trying to download music my son did to the Discord channel. That's right, and we have a Discord. Can't post it. Somebody, somebody uh, post the link to the Discord if you'd like to chill. All right, see, now I've got, I have to do this. I have to take away. That's what happens when you, you lose the flow and you start back the next day. That's what happens. I got man, 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 I tell you what. Roshi says, always really dig your colors. Thank you. They're making this page even more exciting. Hmm. This is being a pain. This is being a pain. <laughs> speed lines. I had to, I just had to just crash course, learn about speed lines. Yep. There is a, uh, there's a technique to make them work and look right. Can't be too thick. You gotta vary the thickness and have a, a point, focal point of where they are going to uh, converge. I'm gonna give a little extra, extra love here to the shadows. There's the dish code. Cosmetics on it. Johnny on the spot there. Or Janet on the spot. I get I don't know. Is there a is there a Female version of that saying. Let's get another one of these little dealy here's and make this pop a little more. I'm wondering if I go into a CVS, how long I can stay till they kick me out, says AL. <laughs> I got kicked out of a, a 7-Eleven when my, uh, so in San Diego, I, the, the car, I was staying in Carlsbad and um, someone had driven the car down and then took the train back and left me with the keys, but they didn't take the, the code to get in the garage that shut down and I was trying to figure out what to do and I was, you know, in a 7-Eleven and they kicked me out. 
Jenny on the spot. Yeah, I like that sound. You can you can, you can quote me on that. <clears throat> all right. So what if I just do this? I select all that. What if what if I select it in a way that actually selects everything? What if I what if that would happen? What if I did that? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so you got to get all in the red areas there. And then for this other part, I can just select the lasso tool and say, select, actually I need the uh, polygon little thing here. There and there. That's wrong. <laughs> you hit select and then you let go of select and it will select. That's the difference between, I think, um, I don't know if Photoshop does that or, or not, but you can't hold select down because that makes straight lines. People are like, what are you talking about, Brian? What are you babbling about? We don't know. We don't care. And to that, I say, Godspeed. It's, this, is, this is my... I uh, see. I missed a little bit. Look at that. Look at that little spot hiding in the, in the shadows. Anything else? No? Okay. Try it again. Even darker? Even darker? There we go. There we go. Oh, where am I? Uh, St. Patty's Day is tomorrow. I don't know what that means for me. Nothing. Um, it's embarrassing to say. Let's see, Argentina talking about uh, <laughs> getting robbed. Back in the day, they wanted you to loiter in 7-Elevens. At least that's what having arcade machines in the corner would suggest. Yeah. The guy knew what was up. And he was like, sorry, man, you can't stay in here. Like, Thanks for nothing. Thanks a lot. Thanks for helping a guy out, loser. Loser. Hmm, I'll put this back here. It's pretty much what that panel is going to look like. He's going to be yelling something there. So a lot of, the, a lot of that's going to get covered up. And I think a lot of this in here, this little dead space would be where the lettering would go. Good morning, Amos. Welcome, welcome. All right. Um, oh, should I post this on Twitter? Yeah, is it just me or all oh, they're back? Okay. No, they're not. Did anybody else today lose all their Twitter notifications? Oh, my mentions are there, but my notifications are gone. That's weird. It means brisket and eggs for breakfast for brooding Viking. Brisket and eggs. All right, let's take this away and let's take the background away and see what I want to do. For this. Hey, that's what the colors look like without the red. I need to go to. Oh, uh, yeah, let's go to that layer. Let's get a pencil. Tighten this thing up. Talk amongst yourselves while I'm thinking. We're going to have a little flash there, so why would I draw that in? Um, brisket ain't no corned beef hash. When is the gunship thunder punch NFT coming out? Is that that, that the NFT, isn't that the, uh, much for the thing? The, what is that? What's the word for it? I know what you're talking about. All right, so... All right, 
Let's have a monster here. Just got a text from the person I'm doing the album with. Let's see here. Sorry, hang on. Needs MIDI file again. Uh, <sighs> non -fun fungible token digital art. Yeah, I saw that. The, the something sold for like ridiculous amounts of money. Selling originals, quote unquote. All right, so let's get a monster here. We like these, these. Gonna have, oops, I get blue. Laser blast there. But I don't want the tapered ends. And then all the way through there. There we go. That's a better. Have his head to the side there. Erase this here because it's going to go through him. Sorry, I'm thinking. I can't. I can't talk and think. You all know this. You all know this by now. Almost now we're in. Only 19 people here. Weird, weird. And over here will be these little stasis tubes that were. Everybody's very quiet. Are we all just contemplating the one year anniversary of our <laughs> our new lives? should have his head back like he's getting shot. Maybe his head should be. There we go. Yeah, I kind of like that. <coughs> Firespawn says, any advice for paneling a webtoon? Um, yeah, if you're going to do webtoon, you got to have a... Uh, um, leave some things open. Like, take away, like, maybe a panel border here and there. Like, uh, you could take away all this and have the dialogue kind of popping out um, use the space in between the panels as pacing so in between these two it could be you know close together or scroll down a bit and then you have like a word there but make do it purposefully 
Uh, fungible just means... Fungible just feels like someone's trying to upsell mushroom style seating. Um, do you use the frame tool to clean up the edges or just select and delete? Uh, I just select and delete. Laser there. Some debris coming out of here. Another monster head popping in there. They have spikes, horns, something. <clears throat> okay. All right, that's kind of enough to get me going there. All right, so we're about an hour in. I'm going to I'm going to pull the plug on this. But do remember sign up for the mailing list. You get all the latest info and share the link around and the art of Brian Shearer at getthisart.com. Link in the description shuts down this Friday. So Thunder Punch 2 is coming 26th. I got a lot to do. I'm super busy. I ain't got no time for the jibba jabba. But I'll be on. Uh, I'll be on again uh, try, uh, tomorrow. I'm trying to be on every day, so y'all can get the little little behind the scenes stuff. And um, so, like, subscribe.